I'm here today with Mr. Niall McNeilis, Deputy Mayor of the City of Galway, Ireland. Uh, Mr. McNeilis, what are you promoting here at MIPAM this year? Well, I suppose big thing is, is promoting Galway City. I mean, why it's actually known as probably the, the culture capital of the West of Ireland, but also it's an amazing city to do business in. Um, we've got now nine of the top ten medtech companies in Galway City. We have two uni uh, university and, and IT that's really big into uh, investment and uh, startups. We've got an amazing arts scene in the city. We've got a young city. Um, so just really promoting Galway and why it's absolutely the, the nicest place in Ireland. Thank you. Why, why do you think your city is a city of the future? City of the future? Um, it's, it's a young city. Um, the fact that we've 20% of our population was born outside of the country in the first place. We've got a really good grasp of new ideas, new ventures. The fact that town and gown, as in the university and the city, has grown together for so long. Um, and there's been a really big push towards proper planning in the area. We're looking at infrastructure or transport systems. We're looking at the future for that. So everything is, be is, is being geared up to actually to bring more investment to the West. Um, and the fact that it's, it's only like two hours away from Dublin on the big motorway. Um, and it's a, it's a young, vibrant, uh, fast city. And everybody that goes there doesn't want to leave. That's the big plus for Galway City. Um, I mean, it's, there's always a great nightlife scene, but there's a really good feel where we've got, we'd say, the likes of the new games companies moving into the city. We've got the medical device companies moving into the city. Uh, and they're all creating good jobs. Um, and people are moving down from outside, we'd say, the traditional urban areas like Dublin and wanting to come to the West of Ireland uh, and to do business. What are some of the new sectors that you'd like to see growth in and increased FDI in, in uh, for Galway specifically? Well, we're very lucky. In the last couple of weeks, uh, Blackstone Launchpad have uh, opened up their very first launchpad in the university. Um, what that means now is we've got a lot of new startups. We've got a lot of uh, incubation hubs being set up for um, research and development. Um, the city is very heavily involved at the moment in doing an audit where we're looking at all the empty space that could be possibly be used across the city for the future. Um, so what do I see? I think we're very lucky in the sense that by having the clusters, um, we say, of the IT companies and the medical device companies, they're all attracting each other. So what's happening is they're, they're piggybacking on each other. They're making sure that everybody sees uh, potential. So they say, right, if you've got, we say, one medical device company, they need help with another group. So everybody's coming next door to each other and you're stealing each other's staff, but also at the same time you're, you're helping each other grow. And Ireland is known internationally now as a growing hub for IT and tech, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, up, up until now, you basically, okay, Dublin, you would have had your Facebooks and your Googles and all those guys coming together. What we're very lucky with in Galway is that we've got small startups which have grown, and then what's happened if they've done the R&D, they've looked at the whole future, and next thing they've gotten big investment coming in for it. So the way things are going at the moment is that it was the property boom, first of all. Now it's all about startups. Now it's all about, we'd say, where can we go with a future idea? Who's got the next best idea? Like in Galway City, we've got a major research institute for, we'd say, Marine. We've got the major research for uh, we'll say breast cancer research in the college. Uh, the two universities are linked with the, the, the hospitals. So yeah, I think um, we're very lucky in that sense that we're, we're, we're you attract businesses. And one, because the corporation tax is good, but the education is really, really good. And that's a big plus for us. Uh, and the fact that we're very pro-Europe as well, even a big plus for us, because what that means is that we can at, um, attract more. Um, we're an English speaking nation. Um, and that makes a big plus when we're looking at the American companies. Uh, and also, I say, half of America must have a relation in Galway as well at some stage or another. So they, they like to come back and, and, and see to, to invest in the West or, or in Ireland in general. Deputy Mayor McNellis, thank you so much for your time and have a great week. Thanks, Sabine. Looking forward to it.